So hello and welcome to the next video of things you don't know about Black Ops 4. In today's video we're actually going to be looking at the mattress glitch in Alcatraz. This glitch will allow you to basically perform a manual G slide, which was a old glitch stemming from Black Ops 3, which did actually make its way into BO4 for a bit, but then all the variations got patched. However, this is quite similar to it, and it can still be done. Just before we actually get into the tutorial of the glitch, it is of paramount importance to understand that this glitch is very difficult to trigger and does not have a consistent 100% chance at happening. What can actually happen is your slide will actually go worse if you do fail this glitch. So I would advise to not use this seriously and put in some practice before you do this in game. Just know, it's not very consistent, but onto the tutorial. On Cell House, there are actually two of these mattresses you can do the glitch on. There is one secondary one, which is on the side that I usually land on, right below there, next to the entrance here. And there is also another one next to the library court, right outside, close to the entrance on that end of Cell House. There is a third mattress right here in the middle lane of Cell House, near reception. Do not use this mattress, however. I'll explain that later. Now the way you actually do this glitch, firstly on the primary mattress, is you slide into either this corner facing the entrance, or this corner facing away from the entrance. If you slide at it from the perfect angle in the perfect timing, it will actually curve your slide and you'll get the increased boost. If you're doing the slide on the secondary mattress, I would recommend to only do it from this corner right here. It might be possible to do from the other corners, however because the small run-up speed, I don't think it'll be that consistent anyway, if at all even possible. This glitch is possible to do just as easily with or without mobility, however I would strongly advise to use mobility for its increased speed. This will actually increase your slide speed and distance by about 3 or 4 times what it would be without mobility. Other than using this glitch for more forward momentum on your slide, you can actually use it in a 3D aspect and climb up to the catwalks that are next to the mattresses. The reason this glitch actually works is because the mattress is slightly elevated above the ground. It's a very minuscule amount, basically unnoticeable if you're playing the game, however it is there. What this actually does is it allows the slide to be curved by this slight difference of elevation. And that curve, it actually makes the slide go upward rather than straight. And when it goes upwards, it goes into the air with all of its momentum and actually doesn't get affected by friction from the normal slide that it would on the floor. And instead, it will just keep on going in the air and through the air, keeping its momentum for longer, therefore giving you this slide glitch. The reason the other mattress doesn't actually work is because that mattress does not have this property. If you try and stand on it, it will literally not change. It is actually at the ground level of the map. If you try and slide through it, you will not actually move upward. So this mattress is basically useless because you cannot have this edge that is slightly elevated above the ground. Lastly, it is actually very likely that there are other objects in any mode that can actually have this property. There might actually be more mattresses in Alcatraz, as long as they have this shape and the property of being up and down, they will work with the slide glitch. However, other objects in the game are very likely to also have the same property of an elevation that is very slight, meaning this glitch hasn't actually been discovered to its fullest potential. It is possible. There might even be hundreds, or even close to a thousand locations where you can do this glitch at. However, these are the only two that are currently known. Well, thank you very much for watching. I would like to use this part of the video to thank the Professor Cheats Guinea Pig Lab members, because without their help, I really wouldn't be able to test this video and would not be able to come up with the content. So a big shout out to them. The people who helped will have their channels down in the description. So if you really wish, go check them out. Without them, the video would not be possible. If you have any other information on this glitch, maybe other things I didn't check out or things I missed, type them in the comments. I'll pin it down if it's very, very beautiful of what you have written. If you wish to suggest anything else you want to test, go ahead, put that down in the comments. I might test what you desire. And if you want to see more of these videos about Black Ops 4 and the intricate game design, then I would please ask you kindly to join the PCGPL and help me test some of this stuff, because it would be so much easier to do when there is more people willing to make these videos a reality.
But most importantly of all, have a wonderful, wonderful day, and fare thee well.